Can you imagine how vast the universe is? Even just the Milky Way galaxy, our galaxy is approximately 100,000 light years in diameter and contains about 250 billion stars. The scale of the universe is astonishing and contemplating its dimensions is mind-boggling. The universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old and during this time it has expanded to reach its current colossal size and continues to expand. The universe is so immense that, consider this, the observable diameter we can detect is approximately 93 billion light years. This equals about 9.46 trillion kilometers. It is estimated there are two trillion galaxies in the universe, and each galaxy consists of billions of stars and planets. Now, I ask this question again. Have you ever wondered how large the universe could be? Earth's circumference is approximately 40,000 kilometers. If a person wanted to cover this distance on foot, how much time would it take? For example, an average person can walk about 5 kilometers per hour. At this speed, walking 8 hours a day, you would cover about 40 kilometers daily. At this pace, 40,000 kilometers would require approximately 1,000 days. This doesn't account for an unobstructed path, climate conditions, oceans, mountains, and other obstacles. What if we tried to travel around Earth's circumference using the fastest rocket on Earth? How much time would it take? One of the fastest rockets currently used is the Parker Solar Probe. This rocket reached speeds of 700,000 kilometers per hour on its trajectory approaching the Sun. However, this speed is not typical for orbital motion. But still, let's imagine this rocket moving at that speed in a straight line with no obstacles. A rocket moving at 700,000 kilometers per hour would complete one orbit around Earth in approximately 3.4 minutes. These calculations are for ideal conditions and factors like atmospheric drag, gravity, and trajectory changes must be considered in real life. Even with our fastest rocket, it takes three to four minutes to complete one orbit around our 40,000 kilometers Earth. But consider this, the diameter of the observable universe is approximately 93 billion light years. There is no definitive information about the size of the entire universe because it's impossible to see regions beyond the observable part and the universe's continuous expansion is also a factor. The universe is either infinite or significantly larger than the observable region. Some cosmological models suggest the universe could be at least 250 times larger than the observable part. Multiplying 93 billion by 250 gives us 23 trillion 250 billion light years. A light year represents the distance light travels in a vacuum in one year. This is calculated based on light moving at approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. One light year is approximately equal to 9.46 trillion kilometers. This unit is primarily used in astronomy to measure the vast distances between celestial objects. For example, the Sun is about 8 light minutes away from us. This is approximately 150 million kilometers. However, the M13 galaxy, one of the nearby galaxies, is located approximately 22,200, 25,100 light years away. This means light from that galaxy takes 25,100 years to reach us. M13 is also known as the Hercules Cluster and is one of the most famous globular star clusters in the night sky. M13, estimated to be over 11.65 billion years old, is 145 to 165 light years in diameter and consists of hundreds of thousands of stars. While the light year is a widely used unit in astronomy, it also plays a crucial role in conceptualizing the vastness of the universe. Let's now look at some distances between galaxies. Milky Way Galaxy, our galaxy, approximately 100,000 light years in diameter. Laniakea Supercluster, this supercluster, which includes the Milky Way, is approximately 520 million light years in diameter. Large Magellanic Cloud, 
the small galaxy closest to our galaxy, located approximately 160,000 light years away. Anhedromeda Galaxy, the closest large galaxy to the Milky Way, located approximately 2.5 million light years away. Triangulum Galaxy, another spiral galaxy near the Andromeda Galaxy, located approximately 3 million light years away. Virgo Galaxy Cluster, one of the closest large galaxy groups to the Milky Way, located approximately 54 million light years away. Coma Galaxy Cluster, a large galaxy group located approximately 320 million light years away. Z8.GND 5296, this galaxy, located approximately 13.1 billion light years away, formed in the early universe. UDFJ 3954-6284, this galaxy is located approximately 13.2 billion light years away and is one of the most distant points in the universe. MACS 0647 Jag D, one of the most distant galaxies discovered to date, located approximately 13.3 billion light years away. GNZ 11, this galaxy is also very distant, located approximately 13.4 billion light years away. Intergalactic voids. The voids between galaxies are also immense containing very little matter. These voids can be millions of light years in size. For example, the Bodhi's void is approximately 330 million light years in diameter. It is one of the largest voids in the universe. Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. This is one of the largest structures in the universe, stretching approximately 10 billion light years. Galaxies don't just exist in voids, they are also bound together by gravity. These bonds cause galaxies to organize into groups and clusters. For example, the local group, a group of about 54 galaxies including the Milky Way, Andromeda Galaxy, and Triangulum Galaxy. Virgo Cluster. This cluster, consisting of about 1,300 galaxies, is a larger structure that also includes the local group. These distances illustrate how vast the universe is and help us understand its scale. The microscope showed man how significant he is. The telescope showed him how insignificant he is. Adapting this quote to our topic would be more accurate like this. The microscope showed us how large we are. The telescope showed us how small we are. The scale of the universe is astonishing. We are merely tiny particles within this universe. Even our Earth is smaller than a speck of dust within this universe. Who knows? Perhaps future technological advancements will transform us from passive observers into visitors of those galaxies. Or maybe in the future, we will travel through a black hole or wormhole to other worlds, perhaps discovering other beings like us. Thank you for watching. If fate allows, We'll meet again in other videos.